Hi, this is Shannon from SISforteachers.org. We're so excited to share with you a game that's really great for lower elementary. The game that we're gonna play is called Race to 100. Our friend from Making Math Makes Sense, Emily, is going to show you how to play this game with any dice at home. You can even play with cards and a simple hundreds chart. Even if you don't have a hundreds chart, you can uh, make one your own or students can even write down how they're adding. This game comes from one of my colleagues' books. Um, she wrote the book Math Play, Eliza Thomas, great friend of mine and colleague. There's 40 different engaging games that you can get out of the book. We have it for sale on our website at SIS, the number for teachers.org in our store. We have a free shipping code if you're a part of our group which is SIS, the number for students, if you wanted more information on the game. The great thing about Emily describing this game is really she's trying to tell you a little bit about how to differentiate based on where your child is at home. If your child is the point of needing to touch and count, that's okay as they're using it on the hundreds chart. You certainly can um, download different types of things to help students to start to get those pieces of addition. Next week, we're gonna be talking a lot about number sense strategies. And so we'll have a ton of stuff to help your students keep their addition, subtraction, multiplication, division with whole numbers and decimals, as well as fractions to keep them, you know, really just kind of up to date on the skills that they're doing. We hope that you've shared out our videos to any family, friends, or um, students that you might have in your neighborhood to join us on our Facebook group at facebook.com backslash groups backslash SIS for students. You also can join us on our website if you are unable to be on social media or you know of anyone that can't get there, we'd be happy to help through our videos. Thanks so much and let us know how the game goes for Race to 100. Who's going to win at your family? Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Emily from MakingMathMakesSense.org, and I'm here to show you your game for today for the virtual math series. We're going to play Roll to 100 or Race to 100, and it's just that. We're going to roll some dice with our hundreds chart, and we're going to try to get all the way to 100. Let's play. You're simply going to roll your dice and continue adding on until we get to 100. You can use a six-sided dice, a 12-sided dice, a 10-sided dice. Let's say you don't have any dice at home. You can use playing cards. You're going to roll your dice and mark off the numbers as you go. So we are at three right now. We're going to roll again, and we're going to add four more. Your child might be working at a different grade level than another child in the classroom that you're teaching or a child that you have at home. Let them do their learning. So let's say you have a primary kiddo who does not know three plus four. Let them add on. So we're starting at three and we're adding four more. One, two, three, four, getting us to seven. Roll the die, add on. We're adding on three. Seven plus three. One, two, three. We are at 10. The older your child, the chances are they're going to be better with their math facts. So maybe they don't need to add on by ones. They can go 10 plus four is 14. You're going to continue rolling until you get to 100. 15 plus 4 is 19. Let's say you have an intermediate kid. That's a grades 3 through 5. They need to be working on their multiplication facts as well at these ages. Let's say that your child struggles with their 4s. Every time they roll, they have to multiply that number by 4 and then add on. So we have 4 times 4 is 16. We're going to add 16 on. Now, do I want a third through fifth grader going one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 16? That's not going to be the best strategy for them. Let's add 10 and then add six more. Hopefully by third grade, they know that when you add 10, you go down one row on a hundred chart. So there's 10 plus six more, one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, rolling your die, multiplying by our number we need to work on. Right now, let's say it's four. 3 times 4 is 12. We're going to add 12, so we're going to add 10 and 2 more. That breaking apart, that expanding of the 12 to 10 and 2 is a strategy. We need kiddos to understand and be able to apply. Adding 12, that's a very unfriendly number for some kiddos, and it's scary. We don't want math to be scary. We want to lower anxiety and raise achievement. Let them add 10 and then add 2 more. 4 times 4 is 16, so we're going to add 10 and six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. This game continues on until you get to 100. Some variations to this game. Maybe you have 200 charts going and you have two children racing to 100. Let's say you have older kiddos and you want to have this race to 1,000. 
they're going to take their number, they're going to multiply it by 10 or by 100, trying to get themselves to 1,000. Let's say you're working on decimals. You're going to race to 10, and each of these is worth that many tenths. So this would be 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 4 tenths again. You can change this game for what your kid at home or your kids in your classroom need to be working on. Please let us know in the comments below if you played this game, what you liked about it, and how you adapted it for your specific students either in your home or in your class. I hope you enjoy.